What's going on everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Richard and this is Slasher and Collectibles. If you're wondering why there's no video intro this week, it's because I am actually moving a bunch of stuff around in the loft. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the most underrated figures in my opinion. This is the Two-Face 2.0 figure by Hot Toys. Alright guys, so again, I do feel like this is one of the most underrated figures out there, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Uh, here you do have a beautiful box with the Dark Knight logo right here. This, I absolutely love how they did it. So with Two-Face, you have two different textures on here. Right here you have a very nice, smooth texture for the Harvey Dent side, and then you have a nice rough texture here for uh, the Evil Two-Face side. Uh, so this is this plays out all through the, the entire box, so it is a wraparound box. Um, but here, we'll go ahead and look at that in a second, but let's go ahead and look at the rest of it. So here you got the Two-Face logo down here, uh, as well as a Sideshow exclusive logo there at the top. So when you go ahead and flip it over, you can see that it is wraparound, like I said. Uh, you do have the uh, that rough texture right here, and then it goes into that nice smooth black. Here on the back, you do have all the legal information, and again, just that texture, uh, smooth with the two, like the two-face. I love how it plays throughout the entire box with this. And then here on the other side, you do have the two-face logo. Uh, this area is mostly smooth; that way, you can see the light kind of bouncing off of it. But you do have that really, really smooth texture. And then when you move over here, again, that rough texture that you can't just uh, that you see none of that light is shining off of. So we do have the insert style, so let's go ahead and remove this. And then right when you move it, you can see that uh, you have the, the figure here laid out with all of his accessories. Again, you just have that, uh, even inside this box, you still have that play with the two-face. You have a really smooth white right here, and then a uh, more of a texture on this side. Here on the side, you have the two-face logo. And then on the back, you have uh, all the artist information um, along with the Harvey Dent side and then the Two-Face side right here. And then Two-Face logo again right there on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and then lay everything out and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the figure. All right, so I got all the figures uh, and the accessories laid out. As you can see, it doesn't come with much, but I do still feel like this is a super underrated figure. The head sculpt is amazing. Um, in person, the paint applications are fantastic. So I'm just going to jump right into it and kind of show you what he does come with. Uh, so the first thing that we do get is a pistol. You can see the pistol. Uh, this also here, it does move. And then you have uh, this that moves as well. The next thing I want to show you is the glass that has, uh, looks like it has some scotch in it uh, for the drink. Try to get a good angle on that so you guys can see it. You do, th these are really nice glasses too. These are scotch glasses. Uh, you can actually see the detail inside the glass as well. Um, that kind of gives off that uh, really nice, like elegant type of uh, scotch glasses. The next thing that we do, get is a uh i believe in harvey dent badge let me see if the camera will pick up that writing i don't think it's going to uh but it does say i believe in harvey dent right there so if you want to display him with that or have it on his uh his suit you can put it on there and then we also get three coins uh i think they just came with three coins they're all the same coin but i think just in case if you lose it so you'll have extra uh they are super super tiny so it's hard to kind of pick these up There's the one side, and then we have the uh, the scratched up side right there. I don't think the camera is going to pick up the detail in it, but there is a lot of detail in it that kind of you can kind of see the scratch marks, and uh, and then on the other side it's a, a lot nicer. And then we also have the base. Uh, the base has that same texture as it did on the box, so um, it, it's more of the texture than the gloss. The the bat symbol right here is, is glossy. Um, without the texture, but most of it is, since it is focused on Two-Face, you have that nice rough texture on it. And then you have the Two-Face name right here on the front. So like other figures, it doesn't come with sets of hands, but it does come with uh, 
one, two, three, four, five different interchangeable hands. Uh, so the one that I have on him right now is the one that holds the coin. Uh, let me go ahead and give you a kind of a look at that one really fast. So the coin fits right inside there. It fits pretty good. Uh, I think if you have it displayed like that, you're not gonna be. It's not gonna. You're not gonna lose it. It it, it holds it in there pretty pretty well. So you can even shake it and it's not gonna fall out. Uh, the next hand that we have is the one for the gun. Uh, so if you want him to hold the pistol, uh, you'll have it right here that he can hold that pistol, and then you can uh, use that hand for that one. Um, and then we also have a hand right here for uh, the glass. So if you want him to be having uh, having a drink, you can have him sh displayed with the uh, with a scotch glass right there. And then we have a relaxed hand. And then uh, this, I believe, you can use the scotch glass as well for it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. I'm going to take this off right here. Let me put this hand back on really fast. All right, so the actor is Aaron Eckhart that played this, the Two-Face. I, I believe he did a phenomenal job with the Two-Face character. I love his portrayal of it. Um, like I said, I feel like if you're a Dark Knight collector, you have to have this one in your collection. Uh, this is the 2.0 version. There is another version. Um, maybe I'll put these side by side so you guys can kind of see the difference. Um, but uh, this is the one that I mainly display. So here you have the Aaron Eckhart uh, version, nice clean version. The paint applications, again, are really, really nice. Um, the profile on this looks just like them. Uh, I really wish the camera would pick... I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to change my camera because I, I really wish it would pick up all of these details in uh, the face with the paint applications. Uh, you can see like the layering. You can see the imperfections, but this camera is just not picking it up very well. Uh, and then here on the other side, you do have the uh, the burnt side. Um, you can see like it, it it actually looks like it's burnt in there. Like It has like the yellowing. It has like the dark spots. You have like the muscles inside there. The sculpt on this thing is absolutely amazing. All right, so for the clothing, you do have the his uh, his normal suit. It's a blue tailored suit, um, but here on this side, you have all of the burning uh, and just the red, the blood, like just to kind of go with that whole Two Face aesthetic. Um, so and then that's all throughout it, right? Even down here, it's it's a little bit more dirty. It's not as uh, it's not as clean as it is on this side. Um, you have all that that weathering, all the black and stuff that goes right through there, and then it also does go off onto the back as well, and then kind of mixes into uh, the other side of the suit a little bit as well. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this posed. Um, like I said, I really believe if you're a Two Face fan, like this is just such an underrated figure. It's just so much better in person. This is just one that that you you see in pictures, you see in videos, and you're like, ah, I don't know, I don't know. But if you're on the fence, I would absolutely recommend picking this up. Uh, it, it looks fantastic with the rest of the Dark Knight collection, and I, the words just can't describe how nice it looks in person. So I do recommend if you're on the fence, just go ahead and pick it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him posed up, and then uh, I'll be right back, and uh, we'll take a look at it. 